Hello, my name is Ilfie Fros and I'm a horse trainer from the Netherlands. I teach around the world to help people find more harmony and lightness with their horses. I work in a combination of horsemanship, centered riding and academic art of riding to bring out the best in both human and horse. In this short video, I want to show you my training philosophy, or better said, how I visualize a training for both the person and the horse. Let's consider the training as a pyramid, where we spend most time working on the foundations, on the basic. The tip of the pyramid is your ultimate goal or dream. It could be a bareback canter with your horse in perfect harmony underneath you through the forest. It could be a tilt on a loose rein if you're an Icelandic rider. It could be a better improvement, like a better performance on your dressage test with your horse as a willing partner. It could be a piaf. No matter what your goal is, if the goal is to ride in whatever style you like, in harmony and lightness with your horse, then you can use this idea, this training pyramid, as a basis. So, if you look at the pyramid, you could actually divide the pyramid in two halves. Because both horse and rider need to develop to reach this goal of becoming the best rider and the best horse you can be together. The basis of this pyramid for me is knowledge and awareness. This is not something our horses need to do. This is something we need to do. We need to increase our knowledge about horses to be able to give them the best care and the best training that we can in order to one day reach our ideal, reaching the tip of the pyramid. That means that we need to know a lot about their feet, about their social systems, about how they should be housed, about tack to see if a saddle is fitting or not, but also very, very basic knowledge about biomechanics. How does a horse carry himself? How should a horse carry a rider? Most important, perhaps, is the awareness of ourselves. We are people. We are not born riders. So what do we need to do with our bodies in order to be the best rider possible? It requires a lot of body awareness, a lot of um, changing of our own habits, uh, in order to become a rider and not just stay a human. The next step of our pyramid is to start establishing a basic relationship and communication with our horses. For this, I use a mix of horsemanship and academic groundwork exercises to teach the horse some basic signals that I can later use as riding aids, but also to teach the horse that it's fun to work with me that the questions that I ask are relatively simple and to motivate him to always look for the best answers, to get a horse that is willing to learn, that enjoys his time with me, that sees me not only as a teacher, but also as a nice person to hang out with. From me, as a trainer, it requires that I study um, teaching skills. How do I keep my student motivated? In this case, my four-legged student. In the next phase, which is also groundwork, I start to use these signals that I've worked on in the basics uh, phase and make exercises. And these exercises I will use to supple up my horse and bring the horse in a better balance. I want to be able to move shoulders in and out to put the shoulders straight in front of the hind legs. I want to be able to bend an inside hind leg and outside hind leg. So I start to do all these groundwork exercises leading up to the side movements, shoulder in, haunches in, uh, half pass, pirouette, you name it, in order to prepare my horses uh, for carrying a rider. I want my horses to already have a very good balance in their own body before I put weight on them. In this phase, I expect from riders to do the same in their own bodies. Meaning, all the time that we spend on the ground with our horses, making them supple, flexible, coordinated, more balanced. I expect riders to do the same with their own bodies. And I don't care how you do it. It could be that you follow Tai Chi classes or go to Pilates or yoga. It could be that you get on a massage table somewhere and get your fascia all nicely unstuck uh, by deep tissue work. Um, you could follow Alexander Technique, you can go to Feldenkrais classes, you can study martial arts. As long as you work 
on your own body somehow, on your increased body awareness, on your suppleness, your coordination, your timing. Then, when both horse and rider are flexible, supple, coordinated, balanced, and so on, we can put the two together. You can imagine that it would be terribly unfair to work a horse from the ground and to have beautiful suppleness and straightness and then put a stiff, crooked rider on top. Or the other way around, that the riders are super nice and balanced, but we have not prepared our horses and we have to sit on a horse that feels like a broomstick. Only when the two bodies, separate from each other, have been developed in a nice way, can we put them together and expect something like lightness and harmony together. So in the face of riding together, I don't ask for so many difficult things in the beginning. I just want to find nice circles, nice turns, nice changes of direction and basic transitions using the bodies well. Using the body of the horse well and using the rider's body well. And when this becomes a second nature for both horse and rider, then we can start to make things more complicated and we can start to use the same exercises that we did in the groundwork phase under the rider. So we can start to use the dressage exercises of shoulder in, haunches in, half pass, pirouette and so on to increase the horse's balance, to increase his flexibility, his strength, his suppleness, his straightness, so that in the end it can all lead up to a nice riding balance where we can start to shift the point of weight a little bit more backwards and the horse can start to carry the rider better with his hind legs. When the shoulders are free, this is where we have true lightness. And from there, it doesn't matter what kind of riding you do, it doesn't matter what ideal you had, but I will tell you that now you can reach that ideal. I hope that um, this training philosophy is very clear for you and that actually this dream that you may have is not unreachable at all, as long as you know what proper steps to take to get there. Have a happy training.